Hello everyone, we're going to do the third part in our series which is entitled when you would actually want to create a data warehouse, a data mart, or a reporting database. So really after you know the, the what and why, it's really a good question of when. When does this start becoming important to you guys? When does it become important to your organization? And when do you start thinking about it? Again, this is the type of configuration that you're looking to get into is where you're harvesting data from your source systems, applying business logic to that, maybe using some tools to extract that and merge and collate that data, and then have it land in a standardized platform, a, a place to house the data that you can then be shared across the organization. So, right, you have multiple systems, all of the systems have different data elements in them, and you want to be able to join that data together. So when is, a, when is a time to start thinking about this, or when do organizations usually really start focusing on trying to get to a consolidated data approach? And so really, these are the items that kind of fall into play with that, is that your organization needs information faster than can be provided by its current processes. And like we discussed before, the potential current processes are manual, they're people, they're with Excel, they're extracts from source systems and Bob is putting them together on his desktop, merging some cells, doing the lookups, doing all sorts of fun things, and then bursting and sending it out to other people. Or worse, you have spreadsheets built on top of spreadsheets built on top of spreadsheets, and that's really your current process and the way that your organization gets the information it needs. Another thing is we see is that accuracy is becoming an issue. When people and manual processes are involved in creating information out of data, accuracy can become a problem. Again, a lot of business rules may be in people's heads and things are being missed, skipped over. There's uh, you know, differing opinions about specific data. And so accuracy is becoming a problem. That's, that's a pretty good indication that you might need to have a standardized approach to getting data. Obviously, the repeatable processing of data is an issue. If Bob's on vacation for a week, the reports don't go out. Or if you know, the spreadsheets aren't linked correctly, or a server goes down, or uh, you know, a machine is lost, that the processing of that data and the, the ability to deliver that data to the organization becomes questionable at that time. Obviously, that data is dependent on, on the people, and that is becoming a problem. For lots of reasons, having data and information dependent on specific individuals in an organization is never going to be a good thing in the long run. Again, the accuracy, but people are coming up with different figures for the same things. So I go to a meeting, you go to a meeting, and we both have a different number for what sales were. And it's because you're applying different business logic than I am. Or Bob sent you a spreadsheet before I got my spreadsheet from Bob. And the numbers were different because he reran it or reprocessed it. So different figures can create a lot of confusion. It creates a lot of anxiety inside of the organization and people don't know what to trust anymore. So there's no really trusted source of that data. Another thing too is we'll see new tools are being requested or being installed. So there's lots of visualization tools coming out in the market, lots of uh, departments downloading specific tools that are useful for them to help interpret the data or visualize that. And so when new tools are being introduced into the organization is a good time to start talking about, well, how are we going to use these tools and how are we going to use these tools in a consistent manner with a consistent data layer? So that's a big time to start thinking about when to do this. The next one is, is that you need to provide data in an ad hoc manner. So over time as you evolve, people want to be able to get the data themselves. They don't want to be dependent on Bob. And when your operational systems are all siloed, you can go get data out of each one of them. But again, you're dependent on somebody to merge it with their own business logic. You have to request information from IT. It may take a long time to get that information. So in an ad hoc ability that people have the ability to come up with a question, go look at the data, derive in, uh, the answer from that data, and they can do that all on their own. And then obviously you wanna empower people to derive their own information, but have it consistent so that we're not showing up at different meetings or at the same meeting with different figures, and that we can be consistent on the way that we're producing information out of the data. So these are some big topics that we see. Some are more severe than others at, over time inside of an organization, but typically this is when we start seeing people start thinking about when they want to do a data warehouse or a reporting uh, database. So next time we're going to follow along with the steps on how we do that. Look forward to talking with you again. Take care.